Hi Capricorn, it's Lulu I Love with House of Oshun. And today I'm going to do your love reading, darling. This is a 2.0. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Capricorn. Okay. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your love and support. I really, really appreciate it. All the information that you need will be in the description box. What I will do here today is go over your feelings and your lover's feelings. We're calling it company because y'all done brought them home. Now y'all trying to, Lulu, what you think about them? I'm going to tell you. This ain't going to apply to everybody. It's for thousands of people. This is not a personal reading. Let's get it rolling. All right. <clears throat> Angels, what are Capricorn's feelings towards their company? Thank you, darling. You think they done lied to you. You think they full of shit. Uh, you don't know which way to go. If it don't fit, you must have quit. Uh, all right. So you want, it feels like you want this person to have faith in your relationship, but it just feels like there's some type of deception that may have transpired between the two of you. It feels like you've really been working on and focusing on family and getting things right in that arena. Some of you have to need to forgive your mother for some past um, hurt and pain here. It has a lot to do with um, your relationship with others, how you perceive people here. Yep. <clears throat> it feels like you're in a state of retreat. Instead of confronting things, you've moved back and just like, you know, I don't know if I want to move forward or not. I need to really think about where I am, what I'm doing. It just feels like you may be in a four sword swords. <laughs> a four of swords type of energy. <clears throat> you really want to get to know this person better, but it feels like you won't move forward with that until you are um, you see things differently. Because you feel like this person is energetic, they are friendly they're very likable very sociable optimistic but you're kind of hanging in the balance you just like i don't know which way to go or how to do things right now with this person there's a lot of chemistry amongst the two of you between the two of you Let's see what this deception is somebody wasn't somebody lied Is it just me or do when people lie and feel like they spit in your face like you a coward? Why you just didn't tell me the truth? I need to figure out why. Um, I've always felt like that. Gotta be something from a childhood, huh? Yeah. You feel like there's a lot going on. There's a lot that you need. You want to stand in your truth, stand in your power. When it comes to um, the situation between you and your company, it just feels as though you um, always have to be on guard. Someone may even be trying to get to know you better and you're not showing them exactly who you are and how you feel about them. Let's see here. Deception. Um, someone may have lied about not being in a relationship here. And the signs we have are uh, Leo, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, another Capricorn, Pisces, or whoever. But it just feels as though you want to make an offer to this person. You feel as though you don't know if you can move forward. You just really need to get to know them better. Because it feels like whatever they've told you or whatever you found out about them, you ain't like it. You ain't like it. You want to reach out to them and then you don't. You want to move forward and then you don't. What are Capricorn's company's feelings towards them, darling? Capricorn's company. They're trying to be open-minded about this situation. They feel as though you need to let go of how you, how trying to control things, trying to have things go your way. It feels as though they are willing to reconcile with you, but it's like a, a constant back and forth with you and this person. <clears throat> There's a deep attraction between the two of you, but they also are gun shy. They feel as though they've been through a lot. They don't know if they can move forward with, you know, you won't allow, they, they feel like you don't allow things to unfold naturally. You 
have your mind set on something and you just feel like that's what it is, right? So that deception could easily be misguided um, communication between the two of you. My little thing fell. I like this little thing. Whatever. I like it. This person feels as though there's some immaturity uh, bet um, between the two of you. This could be conversation. Let me see here. They may want children and you don't, but children are involved. But overall, it just feels as though someone may be pregnant already. It's like a bad judgment call on kids. Someone may have gotten pregnant and they knew um, that the person wasn't going to be with them. You could tell at the beginning. Look, I'm not doing it, but look. People show you who they are all the time. Sometimes we want to convince ourselves otherwise. Sometimes if you're anything like me, you get all up in your head and be all romanticized and stuff. <laughs> but you wake up. You don't sleep for long. Sleeping for a long period of time and thinking that someone is going to not be who they are when they showed you who the fuck they are. <clears throat> this person is trying to see if um, this is worth moving forward. Is, are you, is this Capricorn someone that I can build with? So they're taking an analyzed, focused approach moving forward. And they are move, this person is going to be moving real slow, Cap. Okay? Because they're in a, a situation where they just want to be have fun. So one of y'all taking things too serious. Y'all need to get to know each other a little better. Even if you've been with this person a while, maybe... They going through that stage. You be with somebody for a while, then you want to be single, kind of. But just want to be, you know, chill. Let's not take things too seriously. Let's not, you know, have... Every conversation doesn't have to be deep. Shit. Whatever. I'll continue this on the other side where I will go over the obstacles and blocks, your best approach, and the potential outcome. What is y'all doing? All right. Bye.